Draymond Green is back for the Golden State Warriors as they try and even up their series with Sacramento. Game four from San Francisco coming up in just a matter of a few minutes here on ABC after we just finished watching the Knicks take a 3-1 series lead. Stephen A. Smith, Jalen Rose, Stephen A. is tears in his eyes. I love everybody. <laughs> I love R.J. Barrett for showing up again. I love Jalen Brunson for showing up again. I love the Knicks defense for holding Donovan Mitchell to two points in the second half on one for nine shooting. And I love Tom Thibodeau for benching Julius Randle because that's what needed to happen. The Cavs are done. And I mentioned this at, at halftime. And I got you, my brother. I told you R.J. Barrett you is going to be a key. But and you at, did tell at, me to lose. But go ahead. At halftime, I told you that this series was over. Yeah, you did. And that the Knicks are going to win. And the reason why the things that you said, Tom Thibodeau had the courage. Yes. To bench Julius That's Randle. A lot of times, your head coach, when you got an all-NBA performer, still puts him back in. His body language wasn't good. He relied on the team. They got it done without him. But R.J. Barrett was key. Josh Hart was hustling. Team win by your New York Knickerbockers. Jalen Brunson was the best player on the floor. So the Knicks take a 3-1 lead. Can the Kings do the same? We'll find out in just a few we'll moments. color of the sky. It's getting set. Arms are blue, baby. <laughs> Knicks led by as many as 15. The advantage is now 9. We have a good second half shaping up from the Garden. Stephen A. Smith, Jalen Rose, I'm Mike Greenberg. Before anything else, let's take a quick look and experience tonight's extraordinary play brought to you by MetaQuest. And once again, it's Jalen Brunson always in the middle of everything for the Knicks. He's got 16 points at the half off the nice flip there to Mitchell Robinson. Again, Stephen A. The Knicks controlling so much of the first half of action, but the Cavs remaining very much within striking distance. How do you feel? Well, I feel real good right now because Jalen Brunson is playing exceptionally well. Well, Josh Hart is causing a lot of havoc. He's pestering Donovan Mitchell, which is helping. Mitchell Robinson is definitely a force with his two blocks. I just want Julius Randle to show up. APB, these are the playoffs. Could you show up, please? Two years ago, you didn't show up against the Atlanta Hawks. You said you didn't have enough help, okay? That's what everybody says. Now you do have that help. If Julius Randle would attack the basket and stop trying to shoot jumpers all the damn time, the New York Knicks would be even better off. But they're still in control. Stephen A., you have nothing to worry about. I surrender. The Knicks are going to win this series. And I'm really disappointed in the bigs in particular of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hardenstein and Mitchell Robinson have 12 rebounds. Mobley and Allen have five rebounds. And now let's go to the backcourt. Jalen Brunson, they got to find a way to get, I know O'Curl's not a shooter, but you still got to get him into the lineup. They're not scoring anyway. Right. You might as well put him in the game, allow him to, uh, to guard Brunson because they're overhelping. Right. Jared Allen's in, the, in no man's land, just roaming around the lane and the flip, turning around in circles, not doing anything. And lastly, Get Donovan Mitchell off the top of the floor solely. Get him into the offense. Get him on the wing. Get him coming off no. of the baseline. Allow Darius Garland also to be an offensive initiator. Yeah, but Darius Garland, I'm going to blame that on him. He could be a bit more aggressive. He's not looking to be aggressive. He looks like he's a bit shaken himself in these two games at Madison Square Garden. So we can't let him off the hook. Karis LaVert is somebody I think you get the ball more to because when he's open, he hits those open shots. I think we've got to pay attention to that as well. But as it pertains to the Knicks, I still talk about Julius Randle because you can blow him out of the building. You can blow him out of the garden. If Julius Randle just hits some of these shots, take the ball to the hole. The big boys for Cleveland are rattled. He's 6'8 and powerful. Attack them and stop launching from threes. But, Stephen A., you're going to win this with your guard play. You're going to win it with Brunson. You're going to win it with R.J. Barrett. You're going to win it with Josh Hart. They're getting it done. That's Jalen Brunson again. We're in the middle of all that guard play. 16 for him at the half. The Knicks are up by 9. We're back in a moment on ABC. Jalen Brunson led the Knicks with 21 in their win Friday night. He was effective near the basket, 9 for 10 in the paint. That's the best field goal percentage in the paint by any Nick player in a playoff game in the last 25 years. And he's been terrific the entire series. He's one of three Nick players in history to score at least 20 in each of his first three playoff games with the franchise, joining Dick Barnett and the late great Willis Reed. And so will he be the key for New York? Let's find out from Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A., if your Knicks are going to get a win today and take a 3-1 series lead, who are they riding? Who's the I guy? know most people would expect me to say Julius Randle because he needs a resurrection. We don't need him duplicating what he did two years ago against Atlanta when he was shooting 29.8% from the field and averaging just 18 points. But it is not him, Will Bond and Jalen. It is Emmanuel Quickly. My vote for sixth man of the year, even though I ain't throwing any shade on Malcolm Brogdon, do you know this year, with Quickly, uh, amongst bench players, 
led the league plus 254. This is what he did coming off the bench. With Hart starting, with Jalen Brunson in the lineup, with Cleveland going after them, you're going to go small if you're Tom Thibodeau because you ain't worried about Mobley and Allen offensively. You can put Mitchell Robinson in there. He can handle things defensively. Offensively, you need to be smaller. You need to be quicker. You need to be a hit perimeter shot. And quickly is the dude to do it. That's who I'm going with as the factor that will determine game four's victory. Stephen A., I got you. And this person is going to make you and Spike Lee happy if he plays well. Because if he does, y'all going to win. R.J. Barrett. Because they're blitzing Jalen Brunson on his pick and roll actions. Mobley's doing a really good job on Julius Randle. And the Cavs are turning the ball over. Therefore, when he's out in transition, he was a finisher like he was in last game. Also, he even knocked down a three-point shot to help his confidence. He, yes, he averages 20 on the year, and he's very understated. But if R.J. Barrett can be efficient and they can get out in transition, he'll be the guy to have you smiling at the end of the day. Michael Wilbon, walk us through it. What do we see today? Uh, you see a bigger contribution from Mobley and Allen. Jalen just mentioned him. You, you have to if you're Cleveland. I mean, you can't just put all of this on Mitchell and Garland, even with Levert stepping up the way it is. You need a front court contribution. Offensively, they can be rim runs and lob threats, but there's going to have to be a larger contribution from that front court, and they're going to have to shut down my man Jalen Brunson. Not shut him down. They can't do that. But if you just let him get into the lane the way he does, then he will make all those things happen for all those other Knicks players. So defensively, that may be more important even than the front court contribution, which has to increase from Cleveland. It's been too erratic already in this series. They gotta, they've got to do that to even this series and get it back 2-2 to Cleveland. It won't happen. It won't happen, Will Bond. You know why? Because they at the garden. That's why. They at the garden. I told you. It's something about the garden. You can't be a young novice, wet behind the ears, breath smelling like Sibylac, rolling up into the garden and thinking you're going to suddenly come alive and handle yourself. Donovan Mitchell could do that. Darius Garland has the potential to do that. But the bigs who's had butterfingers since this series began, it will continue. It will not happen. It will not be good enough. And that is why Cleveland will fall today in game four. So I think we are clear that Stephen A is picking the Knicks to win today and Wilbon is picking the Cavs to win today. I haven't heard from Jalen Rose. <laughs> Who wins this critical game for the guard? There's something to be said to playing on that big stage. Yes. And we saw the Cavs, Grizzlies, and Kings all struggle in game three. But the Cavs are going to respond in game four. And it's going to be those bigs that Michael Wilbon talked about. They're going to get their regular season averages back up. Mobley and Allen. The Cavs tie this series today. I'm accustomed to the Midwest boys going against me. <laughs> I am also accustomed to them there being go. wrong going <laughs> against me. They will be wrong today. <laughs> New York, stand up. New York, stand up. They will handle them. And we are coming to you from New York today, and if it seems like the fans have been waiting forever for this day, it is because on some level they have.